hi everyone welcome back to another video section in this section we are going to talking about AutoCAD scripting with the help of AutoCAD core engine console here what I'm going to show here we need to convert maybe hundreds or hundreds of drawing file directly to DXF with the version predefined and you want to do it is automatically without opening and save us one by one for that will do scripting and will run the script with AutoCAD Core Engine Console. Till now who are not subscribe my channel just subscribe and support me to make more videos. Thanks for watching ok we will go through the section. There is two part first is script file. So script file will be defined what are the things to be happen command to be happen and after that will save us the file as a script with the defined name. The second part it is the batch file. In the batch file we need to define what activity should happen if the file is available in a different folder. So this is the folder I created to copy all the AutoCAD file. So that path will be will copy the path of the folder where your part all the CAD file then will give the name of the script what you made to save us and second part this AutoCAD from where the core engine console should run so for that go to the CAD the, from the starting you can just copy paste the main path and only remove that last line and just write what a car core engine that exe file that you can just copy paste so if people are having different version this path will be vary from the different version of AutoCAD. I didn't save because I already made the file. Now what we need to do, we need to just double click on the batch file. Oh before that, you can just change the file dia. I think it may not be important but which make us file dia zero. Just close the AutoCAD. Yeah, here is our batch file. When you double click, it will open the command line and you can see that file is saving to a DXF here I kept a empty file with one cat frame that's why that batch file is running very fast depending on the file size of your cat file it will run and it will create a DXF file in same folder with the same file name now you can go for a tea break and come back after that maybe 20-30 minutes you will see all the files are converted and kept in the same folder I think this will work very fine for all of you if you having any doubt or any problem while running the script or core engine. I hope everyone like this video please support me with like comment and subscribe also share to all of your friends it may help for them as well. I will come back with a new video maybe within a week just stay tuned thanks.